Finally tonight, 30 American heroes came home today. Draped in flags, met by grieving families and their commander in chief. Jake Tapper has their story. The president landed at Dover Air Force Base to honor 30 fallen American service members. Earlier, two C-17s containing their remains arrived at Dover with no fanfare, as many of them lived, private, away from cameras. But now we know who most of these brave warriors were. 22 were Navy SEALs. Derek Benson, Brian Bill, Christopher Campbell, John Dwangdara, Kevin Houston, Jonas Kelsel, Lou Langless, Matthew Mason, Stephen Matthew Mills, Jesse Pittman, Tommy Ratzliff, Robert James Reeves, Heath Robinson, Nicholas Spihar, Michael Strange, John Tummelson, Aaron Carson Vaughn, his widow Kimberly told ABC News she was going to Dover. It's, uh, it's, it's a way of healing for me, so I don't want to miss anything, no matter how hard it is. Craig Vickers and Jason Workman. Three were from the Air Force, among them John Brown and Daniel Zerby. And five were Army, Alexander Bennett, Spencer Duncan, Dave Carter, Patrick Hamburger, and Brian Nichols. 30 American troops were killed in this incident. They leave behind at least 13 widows and 21 children who lost their fathers on the deadliest day for the U.S. in this, the 10th year of the war in Afghanistan. Jake Tapper, ABC News, the White House. And we are thinking of them and praying for their families tonight. Thanks for watching. Diane will be back tomorrow. Don't forget to check out Nightline later, and I'll see you in the morning on GMA. Have a good night.